Let me show you how beautiful Turkey is. This place is like paradise on earth. Look at that view, look at the mountains. Incredible, incredible. I cannot get enough of this place. Hello friends, surprise, I am in Turkey. I had no idea that Tom and I would end up here. It is so beautiful. It's so rich with biblical history. It's so special that we got to come here. Actually, Tom flew from Florida to France, to Paris to meet me, and I flew from Singapore, and we had a week in Paris, and we had a very good time there. Although it was kind of chilly at this time, but still, we saw some of the sights, and we ministered on the streets, which is the reason why we travel. A visit would not be complete if not for the divine appointments. Paris really is spectacular. I could walk for hours. In fact, we have walked for hours and I don't want to stop because it's so magnificent. The most beautiful stroll down the street. We just went to see the Eiffel Tower and now we're walking in the direction of our home, of our hotel. <laughs> I'm calling my home. <laughs> so the same thing here. We are in Turkey. It's so beautiful and we've been walking around getting into ministry situations. Do you know that 60% of the places mentioned in the Bible, they're all in Turkey. The seven churches mentioned in the book of Revelation, every single one is in Turkey. You have Ephesus, Philadelphia, Laodicea, Smyrna, Sardis, Thyatira, Pergamon. Am I missing anything? Anyway, they're all here. And the Apostle Paul, he was originally Saul of Tarsus. Tarsus is in Turkey, so he was Turkish. and. Although he had Roman citizenship, it was very likely because he came from a privileged family and he would, and his family was able to purchase that very valuable citizenship at the time. He was from Anatolia and it's no surprise that he began his missionary trips from Turkey. There's a network of roads called the Roman Road Network and he first began his very first trip via Perge in Turkey and then he traveled forth, he went to Greece, etc. and it all began here. And of course he would set up churches in Turkey, of course the seven churches would be here because this is his birthplace and his homeland. That's just the beginning, there's also so many wonderful Christian saints who were from here. For example, Saint Nicholas, who's Santa Claus, the true Santa Claus, he's from Turkey. You have Polycarp of Smyrna, you have Timothy. Timothy was from Turkey as well. You know, the deeper you go, you just find so many more biblical links to this land and you feel the immensity of this history when you're in Turkey. It, it just has pulled at my heart so much. I, I get the same feeling when I go to Israel and when I come here. There's also the Council of Nicaea. The Council of Nicaea convened and they established the guidelines for Christianity, the concept of Trinity, the books that would be included in the canon. And Nicaea is in Turkey. This is where it happened. So it has been such a privilege and a blessing to be here. We've been going, going, going. <laughs> I felt I had to document part of this because although our trip is being documented on Carbo Box Church, the YouTube channel, there's so much more behind the scenes. And it's a last minute plan that we came here and I barely packed. I just have a small bag. I keep wearing the same clothes again and again and washing them because this is not 
a regular vacation we truly are here to spread the word about the Lord Jesus and to learn more about him ourselves as well being in such amazing territory and yeah so we travel very simply I have a small bag and Tom has only a backpack and a small carry-on bag and uh, it's an adventure you know I had a dream the other day where I was driving in a car and it was going so fast and not only was it going fast it was detouring from one direction to another and at one point in the dream I was taken aback because I thought oh no I'm gonna crash I'm coming to one corner and another but somehow when I relaxed I just smoothly went through the corner and it was as though the Holy Spirit was showing me relax let me take over things are changing so rapidly things are moving so quickly but when you let go and let me lead and guide there's not going to be any crashes it's going to be a wonderful trip it's going to be an amazing trip and eye-opener so here I am in Turkey I will share much more because this place is incredible and yeah God is good he is constantly astonishing us I say this all the time that God is full of surprises he is he truly is <laughs> Oh my goodness. And look at the Mediterranean Sea. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, God bless you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.